Hi, I'm Terry Hunter, one of the nurses here at Carolina Conceptions. I am the Embryo Donor Recipient Coordinator, and I'm going to talk to you briefly about our program here. Our Embryo Donor Program allows our patients to, the choice to donate their embryos anonymously. And this is an excellent opportunity for patients who have achieved the goal of their desired family and still have additional embryos in storage. By donating your embryo, you are giving each embryo a chance to be born to a loving, caring family of ours. Our recipients are current patients of Carolina Conceptions who have struggled with infertility as many of you have and have tried various types of treatments without success. Each donor will be required to complete lab work, a physical exam, a medical questionnaire, a profile, and they will sign a consent that will relinquish their rights to the embryos. This is at no cost to the embryo donors. It does require a little bit of time for you to come in to have your physical and have the lab work completed. Um, or you can, if you live out of state, we can coordinate that to be done um, outside of North Carolina. If you want to consider donating your um, stored embryos, please contact me via email or by phone. Um, and that information is listed on our website. Um, or you can complete your notification letter and check the box that you are interested in donating your embryos and I will be in touch with you um, to discuss that option further. If you are interested in our embryo recipiency program, this is for established patients of Carolina Conceptions. Um, they will meet with one of our physicians here to discuss embryo recipiency and then they're required to make a deposit to get on the embryo recipiency list. Once you have paid the deposit, the finance department will contact me and let me know that you've paid that and I will be in touch with you to let you know where you are on the list and then we will basically keep in correspondence every few weeks or every month um, so that I'll inform you of where you are on the list. Currently it takes about three to six months to move up to the top of the list. Once you are at the top of the list I'm going to send you the profiles of the embryo donors and you can review that information and then you can get back with me and let me know if you want to accept them or reject them. If you accept them, then we're going to go ahead and move forward and make sure that we get your lab work done. You will be required to have a physical uh, within the past year. You will also do a um, saline sonogram, a mock transfer, um, and then we will go ahead and set you up for a frozen embryo transfer class. If you decide to reject the embryos, then you'll move to the bottom of the list and then you'll slowly move back up the list and when the new uh, embryos become available, I'll be in touch with you. Um, if you have any other questions regarding this program, please feel free uh, to contact me. Thank you.